Hello, you with Tanisha Ali of Butterfly Transformations. Today I'm talking about standing in your identity, like being who you are and being comfortable in your own skin. The inspiration for today's uh, sharing is one of my goddess, my African goddess rise and shine cards. Take a look at that, everybody. I don't think it's that clear. not too clear anyway the quote on here is it's safe to be myself and um, the questions that you're being asked are what if life felt like enough if you felt safe in your own skin what would you do do you believe that your feelings and ideas truly matter feeling that we have a right to exist is the fertile soil from which everything grows consider this thought with the essence of the goddess of silver which is this, this individual here, I imagine. What is life if not lived by you? Think about that. Who are you here for if not to express your unique create creativity into the world and manifest the glory of the creator? What, what else are you here for? Think about the time that you have lost and the energy that you have spent and the tears that you have cried when you allow the moments and seconds and the hours, the weeks, the months, and the years to escape you being able to be who you are. You're already perfect. You don't have to explain that to anyone. But somehow we live in a world where we look for other people's approval and oftentimes we can spend decades living for other people because we're afraid. We can spend decades and watch our lives go by with very little degree of autonomy or control over our lives, not standing in our power, not taking charge and command over our lives. What is it like when you live for other people? What is it like when you don't make the decisions that you want to make in your life because you want to do what makes other people happy. What does that feel like? I'm serious. What is that like? What does it feel like when the deepest, deepest part of you that wants to express itself contracts and does not give voice to the authenticity of who you are because you worry about maybe what other people think? Now let me ask you this, what does it feel like to live the life that you want to live? What does it feel like to not worry about what other people think? What does it feel like to live the life that you love, to live the life that you choose? What does it feel like to honor you? What does it feel like to be comfortable in your own skin and not worry about what somebody else said you needed to be doing? What does it feel like to possess a level of self-knowing, a level of self-awareness, a level of courage and confidence to direct your life in whatever direction you choose or down whatever path of your choice? It's time out for living for other people. As a woman, we have been mothering since the beginning of time. We are mothering everyone. We are mothering our parents. We're mothering our spouses. We're mothering our children. We're mothering at our jobs. We're carrying everyone and we're doing very little for ourselves and we are justifying that self-sacrifice as if it's something righteous and it's something that it's okay to be a martyr. It's not okay to be a martyr. That's the old paradigm. It's not okay to be a martyr. You were not created to be a martyr. You were created to manifest the glory of God within. That is why I love the poem by Marion Williamson. It's time for you to express the jewel of your existence. It's time for you to begin to get clear on the areas of your life where you are stuck simply because you're worried about who's looking 
or you're worried about what somebody else is going to think. It takes practice. It's time to build that muscle. Okay, and you can't build that muscle by staying in that shell. You can't build that muscle by continuing to do the same things that you've always done. You've got to do something different. You've got to let other energies into your life. You've got to learn new things. You've got to develop new skills. You've got to grow your confidence. You have to build your capacity. These things don't happen in a vacuum. I'm Tunisia Ali with Butterfly Transformations. If you want to reach me and dialogue more, ButterflyTransformations.com, getting you out of your cocoon and into your wings. Sending much love to you. Please, if there's something in this video that resonated with you, I want to know about it. What is it that struck a chord in you? Comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Namaste, the light in me honors the light in you. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Bye.